idea to try to save this queen that they're they're trying to get into the chamber to kill. Um, and that is the cager. To basically put a cage around the queen cell to stop them so that way when she hatches, she can, you know, for a couple days be putting out her pheromones and turning the bees to her, you know, to her side. So I made this little cage um, and I'm rushing now to to get it around her if it's not too late. They've been working on her cell. Um, they opened up one queen and, uh, you know, I think killed her, I think. Um, and this one, they're slowly chewing on and, and walking over and stuff as I've shown you in the other videos. So, um, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but it's worth a try. I'll show you the little, little chamber that I made here. This is a little chamber, it's gonna fit over her and push it into the wax and they shouldn't be able to get to her and hopefully I can watch for this weekend and if she doesn't hatch by Monday or Tuesday of next week then I'm going to go ahead and put the other queens back. Uh, they've already been apart for two days, three days, the longer they get apart the, the less the queen set's going to be in there and the more likely they're going to adapt except the new queen. So I got Mikey and Tommy. Mikey's I think he's pretty much collapsed there. Tommy's on the eye, eye touch there. So here we go. Uh, my stupid seatbelt isn't, I, it's, it's got the auto lock on. I can't put my seatbelt on. So, uh, really annoying. So I'll let you know in my next video, you know, how things go. And hopefully I can save this queen and have two colleagues here at the Okada Bee Farm.